go ahead. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's me glasses? Where's, where's me glasses? This is... This is complete rubbish. This fucking twat, mate. You thought I was going to tear him a new asshole. It ain't Simeon that I'm mad at, nope, nope, nope. It's you guys, the fitness community. Right now in the fitness community, we have this whole Simeon Panda fake natty exposure polygraph test slash drug test, a whole propaganda, whatever you may call it. And the fitness community is flipping their shit because he is addressing all of the accusations made by you guys. Now at the beginning of the video, that was pretty much my impersonation on how I think y'all from the UK reacted. I know the accent was fucking shit, Mike, but forgive me for that. However, when I watched the video for the first time, I commented, I respect this. Assuming he was actually being genuine about it and not trying to deceive people. I found it commendable for him to take on the fitness community like that. But at the same time, I felt pity because I was like, come on, Simeon. You should know the YouTube fitness community right now. It's like talking to a brick wall. They just want to see you fall, that rhymed. Do you see the green words, man? It says no deception indicated. That means I am telling the truth, guys. So don't you believe me? So yes, even though I commend him for actually addressing the accusations in that way, assuming he is being honest, I agree with Louis Marco. He should not have made that video. It just made people hate him even more. Even Vegan Gains had a positive like to dislike ratio on his video when he spoke on this. Vegan Gains! This is the guy that the fitness community claims that they hate and wish were dead. Nah, but like, you know, he's dissing Simeon and I don't like Simeon. You know that, Simon. So like, yeah, Vegan Gains, he's cool to me now. He's cool. Okay, so you only like vegan gains when he disses people you hate. So when I liked him and defended him at first, I was a bitch and I was a dick rider. But now that he disses Simeon Panda, he's all of a sudden a cool guy. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> you see, like, this is why I like being real, because it just comes full circle in the end. Now everybody likes vegan gains. People will call me fake. And some people even unsubscribe from me because I liked Vegan Gains' videos even though he dissed people I supported. That's why I was saying that Vegan Gains should not change what he's doing because it's working and people will hate him and love him regardless of who he disses. Same for me, I go the non-controversial route and people still hate me and love me for what I do. And as for Simeon Panda, it doesn't matter if he got drug tested by the by freaking aliens, man by aliens, it does not matter. You will not change the mind of the fitness community because they have already made up their mind. They even did this shit to Chris Jones trying to ex expose him as a fake natty. Put it this way, let's say Chris Jones came out and said, hey guys, I take steroids. Are y'all gonna be like, <laughs> change your life whether or not these people are exposed for being natty right now again i will not respect it if they lied about it but at the same time some of y'all changed my mind on this when i left some comments the other day i left a comment on the video the other day i can't remember which one but i basically said yo i would just admit that i was taking steroids if i was taking steroids like it's 2015 it seems like everybody's doing it so i don't think there's a problem with it anymore i just wouldn't lie about it and then someone said What? It really is illegal still? Like, you're not allowed to admit that you're on steroids on YouTube? 
then why the hell is the fitness community still saying that they should be incriminating themselves on YouTube? Should they expect for all YouTubers, whether they use steroids or not, to not admit that they're using steroids? If Cali Muscle admitted to using steroids, wouldn't you guys call him stupid for that? If Simeon Panda admitted to using steroids, wouldn't you guys say, yo, you're stupid, bro? If Chris Jones admitted to using steroids, wouldn't y'all like wanna slap him? Like, why the hell would you incriminate yourself, bro? They usually kept that hidden. But no, you guys attack them for being fake natties. I'm like, if you already have the have your answer in your head whether or not these people are on steroids, why do you care so much for them to admit it if you know that it's basically a crime? And then some of you guys say, well, they're lying to these kids to make them feel like they could achieve their bodies naturally. Bro, it's not that serious. I'm sure these kids are not going to train for five years and then all of a sudden wake up and be like, yo, why, why, ain't, why aren't I as big as Chris Jones, man? Why aren't I as big as Simeon Panda? Like, they crushed my dreams. I thought I could reach that level of physique naturally, man. Like, come on. So I'll just end with this. The fitness community, y'all just want to see drama. Y'all just want to see people fail. Y'all don't give a shit about these YouTubers. You just, want, you just want entertainment. You don't really care about their lives or anything. Because all of this really doesn't make sense. And it's freaking pathetic. Hit that thumbs down. I know you want to hit that thumbs down. Oh, Simon, you're a piece of shit. You're a bitch. I'll say this, though. If you are a public figure, a YouTuber, someone who's famous, whatever, and you're a bodybuilder, and you know in your heart that you're taking steroids, but you go out, you go out of your way to claim that you're natty. That's a piece of shit move. That really is a piece of shit move. Will I hate you if you get exposed? No, because again, I'm somebody who just doesn't care. I'm like, okay, you're on steroids. Wow, cool, it's shocking. I get up, I go to work, make my money, come back, make YouTube videos, and I just live my life. It's not gonna change my life. And the same should apply to you guys. If these people are on steroids, who cares? Like, just be like, yo, like, why do I even care if Simi's on steroids? I still watch his videos, or I don't watch his videos. I don't give a shit. Like, he's on steroids, cool. Let him do, let him, do him. But the way the fitness community is, y'all just like things to be going your way. You don't even care what the person did before or what the person is doing now, right? Just like with Vegan Gains. I use him as an example because he is the guy that a lot of you guys claim to hate so much. That as soon as he did this, like he was exposing Simeon Panda, you guys love them off. I even seen all the comments, bro. So it just makes no sense. It just really makes no sense. You guys just like to bandwagon whoever makes you feel good at a particular moment. So SOS family, I hope you guys saw my point. Please be civil in the comment section. I know we may disagree on some things, but again, we're adults. Well, I hope most of us are adults here. Well, some of you guys are like teenagers, but still act like an adult. Don't be a freaking troll and curse me out because you disagree with me and whatnot. Just be cool, okay guys? So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. By the way, I'm full natty. I'm full natty. Right, these BBC jeans. I'm joking, I'm small as hell. Anyway, yeah, I'm gone. Peace. Okay, that was absolutely terrible, but I promise you guys,